Hi students, yesterday we studied that all living things need many things such as food, water, air, shelter, etc. to survive. We also studied that any living thing can survive the best in an environment where all its necessities are fulfilled. Today, we are going to learn how plants and animals are useful to us. So, let's start. We need plants and animals to satisfy many of our needs. Let us first study about animals. Animals like donkeys and bulls are useful for carrying burdens, drawing carts and doing heavy farm work in fields. Dogs are useful for guarding our houses. Several other animals such as elephants, camels and horses are useful for traveling. We get silk, wool, milk, meat and egg from animals like silkworm, sheep, goats, cows, bulls and hens. And in return of all these things, we take care of these animals. We feed them. If they get ill, we take them to doctor of animals. Doctors of animals are called veterinary Marians. We also give shelters to animals like horses, camels, sheep, goats, cows, bulls, hens and dogs. Just as we need animals, we also need plants. Plants give us food grains, vegetables and fruits to eat. We need flowers to make fragments. We use tree barks and sticks to make houses, boats, furniture, etc. We also use sticks as fuel. Plants purify air and gives us oxygen. We use leaves, flowers and fruits to make medicines. We also get fibers like cotton and jute from any plants. And in return of all these things, we give water to these plants. We give them manure when necessary. We also spray pesticides if they are attacked by insects and so on. So that's for it today students. Today we learned the usefulness of plants and animals. Tomorrow we will learn how plants are useful for animals. So bye students and take care of yourself and your family and stay home, stay safe.